I'm not, not really sure how we can be friends anymore, but I, I hope we can. You know, when the kids were little, I'd wake up in the middle of the night for absolutely no reason at all, and I'd start thinking about, oh my God, what if Kelly crosses the street and gets hurt? What if Eden falls out of the tree she's climbing? No reason I'd think these things. I'd worry about them. That's the way I was with Lakin and Warren. Really, were you? Mm -hmm. and then I'd go in there. I'd get myself so worked up, I'd have to go in their room and make sure they were okay. Mm -hmm. And there they were. Snug in their little beds, sleeping the sleep of innocence. It's, that's right. Sleep, sleep of innocence. All except Mason. Mason. No, he'd be awake. And I'd sit down on the bed beside him. Oh, and even then, so many troubles for such little shoulders. And we'd talk, and I'd hold his hand until he went back to sleep again. You know, it made a difference that Mason wasn't mine. It made a difference because he needed me more. Uh, and all I can do now is sit on the bed and hold his hand and watch him sleep. Hmm. It's like the old days, yeah, huh? Just like the old days. Mason and I have shared a lot, you know, a lot of good, a lot of bad. Probably more bad, uh, but I like to remember the good times. And I think it's because of all the pain we've shared that I feel he's more of a son to me than if I'd given birth to him. Do you understand that? That sounds crazy, doesn't it? That a child who isn't, isn't yours, that you feel that kind of bond with? You think of him more, and he's kind of more you than you are yourself. Is that the way it is? That's exactly it. How did you know that? I just know. <laughs> 